on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. So I you answered the question. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I'm just making a point. Early, like, like maybe 10 minutes ago, she said she want a man to be emotional with her, to have this, um, to listen uh-huh. to what she got to say. I said, I yeah. want, that's what I said. Emotional I want. safety? Yes. That, saying the like, men, our grandparents didn't, our no, grandfathers wait, didn't provide no, emotional no, Wait, safety? Kayla, baby, Kayla, baby, let, I'm talking well, I'm to her. Asking. Is that no. what you're insinuating? No, I'm not insinuating. I'm telling you what she said out of her you mouth. Tell me what I yeah. said I want. I didn't. I, the to only time I spoke to my anecdotal yeah. experience okay. was so, when okay. I said Wait, something listen, about listen, listen, men. The whole you two heard you said earlier. So let me finish, right? Now you want a dominant man. Do you understand your, you just unrealistic that. I'm not talking that, about anything I want, sir. I'm, okay. I'm answering well, the question talking, you, generally speaking. Right, baby, listen what I'm saying. You know you can have both of them. What? How your conversation don't make sense because guess what? That broke man probably offer you more emotional security. The nigga with the bag, the nigga with the bag would be like, I don't give a fuck how you feel about it. This is what you're going to do. Hey, Logic, not only is he going to provide her emotional security, he's going to be her best friend. He's going to be there for her. He got time for her. He's going to hear her problems. He's going to be... <laughs> he's going to be all the way emotionally hey, secure hey, when it comes to making sure that she's taking care of her, bro. I'm not hey, sure what gonna say, type of woman y'all think. she bring it out the hall. He's going to listen to everything she's <laughs> Hey, and he's going to make sure he give her that D all the time. He ain't got nothing but time on his hands. 100%, bro. I mean, it's it's cute that y'all think that, but um, if y'all if y'all are speaking about me personally, I don't want a doormat. That doesn't provide you, me Kiana, with any kind of emotional security. I, I don't that man. I can't be the best version of myself with that. Like I'm not evolving with that. I'm not growing with that. He can't elevate me because he can't elevate himself. Like I so wouldn't want to feel like need, I'm taking advantage of someone. He need huh? to be dip. He, basically, what you're saying is you want to do it with money. That's long story short. I need a dude that don't needs my that doesn't need my money. That's what I mean, I'm we saying. We can switch it up all, all we want, but real realistically, you saying you need to do it with a bag. Exactly. Or if you want a uh, emotional secure nigga that gonna cuddle you and and tell you what you want to hear, go no. get it. Yeah. Go. And wait, she said. She wait, said wait, wait, no. She no no no. Logic. She said no to him. Hey, look, I know a cashier right no now. Why y'all twisting my words? My bad, chaotic. My bad, chaotic. Go ahead, bro. Y'all are so used to a certain rhetoric, I guess, but no, that's not what I'm saying at all. Uh uh-uh. uh I gotta hey, go say ahead, this. Chaotic, go ahead. I, I, I gotta say this, and I I keep on saying it. The generation that we live in right now, it's 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 horrible, and it's only gonna get worse. I used to teach special education, and um, I I used to hear this. Oh, this, this, really? Yeah, I did. I used to. I'm sorry, that was actually my bad. Um, I used to hear the 16, 17 year old girl saying, "I need a nigga who makes seven figures," and I used to say, "Do you realize that the masses of people on the planet live in third world countries, and do you realize the country that you live in, which is the wealthiest country on the planet, the average man makes fifty thousand dollars a year?" I said, "There was a time when I was a kid in your age in the late '90s that." It was nothing like a man who just had a job. You know, a man was a, um, a, a librarian. He was a firefighter. He was a police officer, and he got respect. Now you hear so many women talking about this bag shit. It's, it, there's not that many men who earn enough that, that, that can lay claim to that title in itself. And this is why a lot of women are single. I have associates, confederates. And people that I've known all my life, women who are pushing 40, can you imagine this? Who are saying that they're going to get a nigga who play in the MLB, the NBA, the NFL. And I said, you're 40 years old and you're five foot tall and you don't, and you look like, and and what I'm saying is that the the level of competition is so great now for women, especially with social media, that you guys can't afford to have this mindset. You're going to have to marry the firefighter. You're going to have to marry the school principal. <laughs> I mean, it's just logic. These unicorns, these Floyd Mayweathers aren't readily available in the populace. And I, I got to say this, man, if anybody's young listening to this, man, 
listen, just look at reality for what it is now. There, look at all the high rates of single households now. Do you think that just came from out of nowhere? It came from this social media culture where everybody thinks that they're going to be millionaires and billionaires and dating them. No. And that's just not realistic, even in this day and age. It's just not. But I digress. Sorry for hogging a panel up, LaPeep. Thank you, guys. I'm going to go on mute. <laughs> Hey, don't worry about it, Cal. You safe here, brother. I just want to let you know that. You hadn't. Don't worry about none. Don't and, worry about none. And there are six figures. I mean, principals that are making six figures chaotic. I have some clients that make six figures that are principals. Oh, I know that, but a lot of women Most don't want the principals. Over That's what I'm. That, well, what I'm saying is, is that no, I no, I know principals, guys. I'm not trying, guys. We all know what the bag means. It ain't dating a principal. You are, you know what I meant. The bag for women now means I want to be with an entertainer or a millionaire. I, a tr oh. I have fraternity brothers who are principals, and I know they make over six figures. But th but women aren't after them for their hundred thousand dollars salaries. A lot of women want the men who make five hundred and over. That's what I was saying. Why and, and this men is men insist on telling women what we want. I don't, because I don't it's our, it. because it's it's my divine right. It's my duty. We have mm -hmm. to. We shape and mold society. You don't. Mm -hmm. And this is the problem. The, the, the headphone on your ear. A woman didn't make that. A man made that. The car you have. The house you live in. Men made that. Yes, it is our duty to tell you what. It, yes, it is our duty. It's our no. duty to tell you how many pounds you weigh. It's our duty to tell you how you need to look. I don't understand why we. I don't understand why we've separated. What? Listen, listen. I grew up in a nuclear family. My friends grew up in nuclear families. There is a reason why black Americans in the past were married 30, 40 years. And now these attitudes and talking back when men are talking, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. This is just how it was. Yes, that's how yes, a man should tell you how to look. A man should tell you what to do. We are the leaders. Say, women crazy. were willing to submit to those men because they were actually men. Yes, and they made the money. They, yes, and, they, I, and I make videos. Mm -hmm. They, they were, I'm sorry, they were, they were actually men. They were masculine. Courtney said the same thing. They yes. were dominant and not domineering. Yeah. Okay. So but there's a yeah. difference between being <laughs> dominant men yes. in a household that you feel safe and protected by. Like yes. Mena, Mena said, actually, that's, that makes a little sense now. I mean, not in the context that she used it in, but they felt safe. Well, what do you consider they, back in the day? I mean, my me? my grand. Oh, you see, yeah. No, I'm talking to T. Oh, okay. Um, back in the day, like my grandparents, like my grandparents okay. are, they were married for a very long time. Like my mom's parents, they were married. They were so in love. It was like gross. Like well, until like when my grandfather passed away, like they were super in love. Like my grandmother, she she still loves her husband. Still talk about her husband to this day. So I've seen, I've seen, you know, back in the day, like my grandparents, like. You know, whatever. Call it, I don't know, 40s to 70s. You know? See, I'm going to say this, T-Lady. You don't know what you want. Chaotic back you in the wall. Just a minute ago, you wanted an emotional man. I, I, first of all, I didn't speak about anything that I want. Let me finish. I'm putting stuff in my work in my mouth, though. You're not about to give me a narrative. Don't feed me your narrative. No, baby. Yeah, you yeah. just said it. Like almost 10 minutes ago, did she not say she want that man that want to do be said, all that yeah. emotional stuff? Hello, motherfucker. I said women. So I you answered the men? question. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I'm just making a point. Early, like like maybe 10 minutes ago, she said she want a man to be emotional with her, to have this, um, to listen uh -huh. to what she got to say. I said I yeah. want. That's what I said. Emotional I want. safety? Yes. You're that, saying the saying? men... Our grandparents didn't. Our no, grandfathers we, didn't provide. No, no, wait, Kayla, baby, Kayla, baby. I'm talking. So I'm to her. asking. Is that no. what you're insinuating? No, I'm not insinuating. I'm telling you what she said out of her you mouth. Tell me what I yeah. said. I want. I didn't. I, the to only time point. I spoke to my anecdotal yeah. experience okay, so, was when okay, I said wait, something listen, about listen, men. The whole YouTube you heard you said earlier. So let me finish. Right now, you want a dominant man. Do you understand your? You just unrealistic that I'm not talking that. about anything I want, sir. I'm, okay, I'm answering well, the question talking. generally speaking. Right, baby, listen what I'm saying. You know you can't have both of them. 